we thought we'd never see another Steph Curry. Until now. On February 15th, Caitlin pulled up and drained an absurd logo three against Michigan, making her the highest scorer in women's college basketball history, and she did it by dropping a career high 49 points. Simply put, Caitlin Clark is box office. From her long range three pointers to her silky smooth jumpers, vicious crossovers, and pinpoint passes, there are plenty of reasons why a lot of people think she's the new face of women's basketball. And why she's she fires. up next. Caitlin Clark is generational, but let's talk about how she became the inevitable showstopper, revolutionizing the sport and selling out Iowa women's basketball games like they're the Los Angeles Lakers. If her on-court demeanor is any indication, Caitlin Clark has always had that dog on. Caitlin is one of three children. The Clarks grew up in West Des Moines, Iowa. As her parents' only daughter, and growing up among 11 relatives who have played college sports, Caitlin was always hyper-competitive. As she said before, she's definitely someone who wears her emotions on her sleeve. Some people frown upon that, but I think that's what makes me so good, she says. People know not to make me mad. A lot of people have learned that the hard way. Caitlin began playing basketball when she was five. Her dad, who's a former college baseball and basketball player, put her in a boys' youth league, where she dominated. One time, Caitlin's team whooped the team so badly, an opposing parent argued to the league director that her team should have to forfeit because she's a girl. But Caitlin not only stayed in the league, she won MVP. It was a sign of what was to come. If you're looking for the exact moment Caitlin fell in love with basketball, it actually occurred off the court back in third grade when she met WNBA legend Maya Moore. Instead of asking the superstar for an autograph, Caitlyn went in and gave her a huge bear hug. Maybe some of that Maya magic rubbed off on Caitlyn. She tore through the Iowa youth basketball circuit, and early on, may or may not have been so obsessed with winning that she cried after every loss. Victories outnumbered the defeats though, and she was so good by eighth grade that she competed against high school seniors. She also won gold medals with Team USA's under 16 and under 19 teams. Somehow she was left off Team USA's under 17 squad, which, no surprise, she might have held a grudge over. Caitlin balled out in high school. She attended Dowling Catholic, where she immediately starred for their varsity. Her high school coach said that, in addition to her scoring prowess, Caitlin's vision on the court was higher than any player she'd ever been around, male or female, even as a freshman. By her sophomore year, her scoring skyrocketed to 27.6 points per game, leading to recruiting services naming her the number one prospect in the country. In one legendary performance that season, she set a state record, hitting 13 three-pointers on 17 attempts and scored 60 total points. As you can imagine, Caitlin had her choice of top colleges to choose from, but she wanted to stay close to home and narrowed her final three schools to Notre Dame, Iowa State, and Iowa. In November 2019, she chose Iowa, and since joining the Hawkeyes, she cemented herself as one of the greatest players in college basketball history. The buzz around Caitlin Clark's greatness really took off in February 2022, when Iowa faced number six Michigan on the road and nearly upset the Wolverines as Caitlin dropped bucket after bucket after bucket, finishing with 46 points. The Hawkeyes lost, but Caitlin Clark officially became a household name. There's never been a player like Caitlin Clark in college before. Her skill set is eerily similar to that of NBA superstar Steph Curry. Opposing defenses have to defend her the moment she crosses half court because she can shoot the ball from basically anywhere. She's such an elite dribbler, she can't be guarded one-on-one. -on -one. And she's such a great passer, she can pass her way out of trouble and find teammates other players wouldn't even think are open. When Caitlin broke the NCAA scoring record back in February, she was responsible for 79 of Iowa's 106 points in the win against Michigan. It marked the most points responsible for a Division I women's player in the past 25 seasons. And her accolades back up the talk of how good she is. AP Player of the Year, Naismith Player of the Year, Wooden Award winner, two-time unanimous first-team All-American, two-time NCAA season scoring leader, two-time NCAA assist leader, three-time Don Staley Award winner, all-time women's college basketball scorer. You get the point. Caitlin is one of the greatest college hoopers of all time, male or female. Since announcing she's entering the 2024 WNBA draft, Indiana Fever fans have sharpied her in for the number one pick. And hey, since Iowa isn't too far away, expect plenty of Hawkeyes fans to show up the Fever games next season. Iowa sold out its entire season ticket allotment for the 2023 schedule. Prior to that, the Hawkeyes had sold out three total regular season games in program history. Don't believe the hype? The cheapest tickets available for her record-breaking game against Michigan cost $217. The cheapest tickets to the Lakers game against the Spurs at Crypto Arena the following week cost just $64. For now, 
Caitlin's hoping to lead the Hawkeyes back to the national championship game. Last year, Caitlin and Iowa fell just short against Angel Reese and LSU in one of the greatest college basketball games of all time. An NCAA women's record 9.9 .9 million people tuned in as Angel taunted Caitlyn with the can't see me celebration in the closing seconds. We'll see if Caitlyn can get her revenge this year. Regardless, her legacy continues to grow. Caitlyn will keep selling out arenas and be an example for the next generation of women's basketball players, one logo three-pointer at a time.